Hi, I'm Weston. I love talking about the Astros, and I'm here to talk about game 91 of the regular season where the Astros lose 4-3 to three to the Oakland A's and lose the series to the Oakland A's going into the All-Star break. Huh. All right, let's talk about a few things here before we get on to the game, right? Because this series was a bummer. This series just sucked. It was a crappy way to go into the All-Star game. And what I think is fascinating is the Astros went into the All-Star game the past two seasons exactly the same, right? Losing a series two games to one in Minute Maid. That being said, boy, oh boy, what a difference maker it is to win the final game of a series via walk-off and epic comeback versus just having a dominant win thrown in the middle of it. Because, boy, oh boy, I felt significantly better going into the All-Star break last year from that series than this one. Now, overall, as a team, we are still miles better and we would just beat them up and down a field, the last year's team. Like, 2022 Astros would just bully the 2021 Astros, and I don't think that's really up for debate. So you can feel good going into the All-Star break as a whole, but this was just a crappy series to do it. But what I thought I'd accentuate it is that we needed rest. The Astros, I mean, missing quite a few big players. We're missing Brantley still. We're still missing Jordan. Altuve is playing, but it is clear that he is not quite himself and that his knee is just quite sore. Hopefully, you know, three-day break will uh, let him come back. I would have been fine having him honestly not play either of these two games. Uh, just let him rest for like a full week, but say la vie, he decided to be a warrior. Shocker, shocker, Altuve's tough. And this game was just such a crappy way to end the first half. Astros, 3 nothing lead in this game. Kyle Tucker hits a home run in the first inning, and then Jeremy Pena hits a home run. Jeremy Pena, I know, has had at least three, I think it might be actually four, home runs while the Astros are wearing the Sunday blue jersey. So if he's wearing this, just don't even pitch to him. But then what happened? Well, Jay Goderizzi gave up three runs in an inning. Kind of. Now, one of the runs, for sure, right? Home run. That's obviously a home run. That's a run given up. That's on you. However, the rest of it, it was nothing but weak contact. Odorizzi, in five and a third innings today, only gave up four hard-hit balls, and one of them was obviously the home run. So aside from that three, none of them were hard-hit in this inning outside of the home run. He was giving up weak contact. He was pitching to weak ground balls or weak flyouts. He was doing everything properly. You can also see that with the strikeouts to walks, of five strikeouts to zero walks. I thought Odorizzi pitched really well today and got unlucky, which is sort of the way of baseball. And the third run that would come around to score wasn't even because of him pitching. It was because Stenick came in and gave up a base hit. And I'm not complaining to Stenick, nor am I complaining to Odorizzi. Like, whenever a pitcher comes into a dirty inning, it's so hard to talk about because, like, the other pitcher gave it up, but maybe he gets out of the inning. This pitcher comes in. He only gave up one base hit, but, oh, you know, one or in some cases two runs score, even though they weren't on him. It's a very weird convoluted thing to talk about. Regardless, sixth inning, three runs come around to score, and the Astros now are facing down the barrel of a tied game. But, hey, it's only tied. It's the A's. You still have plenty of time. We thought. Rafael Montero would pitch the 7th and then come in for the 8th inning, trying to be Hercules, and it didn't quite work out. Uh, base hit Chad Pinder, and a passed ball. I, 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 I am mentally breaking down with these passed balls. It, it's getting ridiculous. And that 90 feet is important because next batter up, RBI single. Pinder comes around with the extra 90 feet, and now it's a 4-3 Oakland lead. Astros still have 6 outs to work with, and they just didn't. I think truly the damning statement that I can give for the Astros today was their 0 for 5 with runners in scoring position, and that's bad for twofold. One, 0 in the runs in scoring position column is bad. 0 for 5, the 5 is also pretty bad. Only having 5 at-bats with runners in scoring position is... I mean, not going to win you much. Also, I will touch on the ninth inning briefly because Ryan Presley, I believe, broke our franchise record for consecutive batters retired. Keep in mind, Ryan Presley, people wanted his head after the blowup against the Yankees. He has, I don't believe, allowed a base runner since then. Or not, maybe not a base runner, but allowed a run since then. Uh, Ryan Presley's good, guys. Can we agree on this? He is a good pitcher. Three strikeouts in the ninth inning. I, he's good. Here's a neat thing for you. Adam Oler for the A's had... Uh, seven swings and misses is in his four and a third innings of work today as their starting pitcher. Presley in one inning had five. Elite. So, just a sad way to end the first half. A great first half. The Astros were fantastic, right? Still a very, very positive first 91 games of baseball, but this series was just a dud. So... Uh, we have three days before the Astros play again, and then when we're back at it, it's a doubleheader against the Yankees, so uh, <laughs> it's going to be 
interesting. Uh, I'm going to finish work. I have all of the awards given out. I just need to go back and uh, retrofit all of the statistics for the given players. So the Astros midseason award video is going to probably come out either Tuesday or Wednesday, depending on what I'm up to. Uh, so yeah, that's going to be coming out then. And then I guess I'll be back Thursday night to talk about the double header. I don't know yet if I'm going to make one video for each of them. It depends on how big the break is between them or if it's just going to be one long video at the end of it. But regardless, I'll be here after all of it to talk about those. So enjoy the time off. I'll see you guys in a couple of days. So thank you all so very much for watching. I hope you all have an absolutely fantastic day. And as always, Ghost Rose.